Okay, everybody, you can see that this audio file is dedicated to the month, which is in the middle, the date to the right, the year to the left. It's one minute long. This is me being inside the San Diego courthouse on the day of a hearing, okay, concerning the illegal lodging ticket I got in Rose Canyon on 8-9-2015. Do you hear gang stalk? Oh, my God. Maybe even suck my dick being said in this one minute and four second long audio file. The same exact identical harassment was caught in Rose Canyon and on UCSD property on hundreds of occasions. You be the judge. And by the way, are the individuals that are saying this, are they public defenders? Listen closely. Okay. Showing you that this is still the same audio file and then I gotta, what I'm gonna do is start it. You'll see the green light go on. And then what I got to do is move the speaker of the tape recorder to the microphone of the camera so you can hear it being said. So I'm going to start it first. Let me just actually do this, tell you what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to make sure I go back to the beginning. Okay, you can see it's right there. Now I can prove I was in there at this time. So, fellow American citizens, do you hear these words being said? And remember the statements that I've already stated concerning where else the same exact identical 2AT verbal harassment has been caught at. Okay, so when I press play for you to hear this, the green light will come on. Then what I'll have to do is immediately put the tape recorder up against the microphone of the video camera so you can hear these words being said. So what I'm going to do is put the camera down, or put the tape recorder down, okay, and I'm just going to use my thumb so you can see, I'm going to press the play button. You can see the green light come on, and then I'll immediately put the video camera against the speaker of the tape recorder. Pay attention. Okay, now, so, uh, that right there was in, that was just one small, hold on. Okay, now, whenever an audio file stops and a new one starts, it, it, go ahead, it, it goes ahead, it's called the continuous function. What it does is go, I, I think that's what it did. Hold on. Anyways, it might have switched. I think it went on to the next audio file. Hold on. All right, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it again. Okay, so let me go back to 76, 75. Okay, so I'm gonna play it again. Listen closely. What you're listening for is gang stalk, gang stalking, gang stalker, and also, especially how "Oh my God" is said right before and after it. You might also be listening for uh, "Suck my dick," "Crazy," "Weird," and a word that's got "ch" in reverse.
fellow American citizens. What I'm doing, what I'm doing is, uh, hold on. What I'm doing is showing you the time and date of this audio file. Okay? I'm showing you the time and date of this audio file. 313-1023-2015. Okay. Listen to this. Alright, now that right there was a video that just started on my phone. Let me, uh, pay attention to this YouTube title right here. Okay, look at it, write it down, and then... November 27th, Wednesday. Okay, November 27th, Wednesday, 2013. Now, in the, in the beginning of this video, let me turn this off because it's spinning right now, which is not enabling me to turn the actual video off, so I don't want it to come back on. See, look, 2013. 11-27-2013 is the day this video is, was made and, and, and published on, it was published on YouTube, I think, <coughs> either the same day or around December 2nd, 2014. But that was the reason why I showed the phone in the actual video was to prove the date it was made, 11-27-2013. Yeah. So go to Google and t or YouTube and type this in at YouTube search box, this title, 11 forward slash 27 forward slash 13, learning disabled woman tells UCSD police how she's gang stalked, evidence caught after dash two or hyphen two. Now, when you bring that up and when you type that in at YouTube search box, excuse me, and then hit enter at YouTube, what you'll do is, what YouTube will do will bring this video up. Look at its published date. Now, listen to what I'm stating the video is about. You will absolutely be able, be able to observe when the video was made in reference to not just, not the published date, even though that's relevant, but when the video was made. Okay, because that's me showing a video picture of my cell phone, which shows the date and time. The cell phone I was using at that time. Now, listen to what I state the video's about, and then listen to what I tell the UCSD campus police officer concerning how I'm being gang stalked and harassed on UCSD property on 11-20-2013. Okay, seven days before this video was made. What I am telling him and you will also be able to observe by the published date <coughs> that what I told him on this video, okay, was told at least a year and a half before this audio file was caught just yesterday, or actually the day before yesterday. Today's the 25th. Now, let me show you something. I'm gonna bring up the, uh, this is my new phone which I don't understand why the best, you know, I'm gonna make an additional statement because I think it needs to be made on a video file. It has nothing to do with this particular evidence or what I'm talking about now. It has to do with this phone. I purchased this phone, I believe it was on September, August 3rd or September 3rd, 2015 in Best Buy. And when the Best Buy employee was setting it up, I gave him my current P.O. box, which is in La Jolla. He put some type of P.O. box from if memory is serving me correctly, I haven't had the chance yet to change it. Okay, but I will if memory, if, if, if I can squeeze it into my mental calendar for me to do it when I'm out and about in the community. The point being is that I think it's, uh, uh, it's I, I know it's some other county outside of San Diego and he put another P.O. box dedicated to my account. Why did he do that? And I already told Boost when I talked to them, but I was, um, when I talked to them, it was real late at night, and I said, I'll call you the next day and tell you the correct P.O. box. The P.O. box that the Best Buy employee put on this phone dedicated to this account, as this phone was being set up, is a P.O. box that I am not familiar with in any way, shape, or form. And I forgot the name of the, the county of, he said, where it was dedicated to. I even confronted him about it, and he laughed. He wouldn't say why he did it. Okay? He just laughed. Okay? And um, so anyways, I'm, that's just a notation I'm making for you. So you can see right now that this audio file was made on the 23rd of March, or I'm sorry, the 23rd of October, 2015. And that's just two days ago. Okay, October 23rd, and today's the 25th, Sunday. Okay, so fellow American citizens, what I'm basically trying to do is, is show you that the same exact methodology, and it's been caught all over inside of the San Diego courthouse, all over, because this was upstairs, 
okay, on the second floor. It was caught on many occasions as I was going through the body scanners that you gotta go through when you first enter the building, being said by law enforcement. San Diego Sheriff's Department officers, and not exactly sure if it was said by a San Diego Police Department officer, but I will say this. On the 22nd when I was in there going through the body scanners, after my property went through the body scanners, guess guess what was said to me? After you put after you put your property through the body scanner, I'm uh, through the uh, property scanner while you're walking through the body scanner, they take a look at it through their x-ray machine. Then as you go through the body camera, you then go to the area where the property is set at once they clear it. Well, that's where I walked to once I went through the body camera and went and stood by the table waiting for them to process my property. Once it was processed, an individual, a San Diego Police Department officer wearing blue, who I have never seen before in my life, said, here you go, Leslie. I, I called him on it too. I said, how do you know my name? He looked at me and smiled and then laughed. So if you don't think that they don't know who I am, I'm an SDPD, SDSD, San Diego Park Ranger, and much, much more whistleblower. And if any police are watching this, I want you to understand whether you care about it or not. I don't believe that all of you guys are bad. What I'm just doing is exposing what's happening to me and who's playing a role in it and who's being possibly used. Absolutely. Because these filthy rats in the system, they'll use a good cop and put his career at risk in case my evidence ever goes sideways against the police department, they can use him as a scapegoat. So make no mistake about it. I didn't even have to say that. But I believe in being righteous and fair. But make no mistake about it, I'm not naive. At the same time, when you think, when you listen to this, and I'm even going to play it one more time, <laughs> I can indisputably prove that I was in this courtroom. And you want to know how? I got a piece of paper from this court, from this date, a later time, and I can prove when I went in, the fact that I was still in there at this time, and a piece of paper from the courts after, right after this time, about an hour and a half later. So I can prove where I was. Okay? So the point being is that when you go back and you look at this YouTube video, let me bring it up again, it's title. Type this title into YouTube search box. Then listen to what's stated. Observe that at the beginning of the video, you clearly hear my phone uh, electronically state the date and time the video was made. Then you will observe the video picture of the phone proving the date and time that the video was made. Then listen to my statements and then listen to the conversation that I ha had with UCSD police on 11-20-2013. You clearly hear me say that the tape recording audio file that's transferred to this video, to the YouTube video, okay, is from 11-20. You clearly hear me tell a UCSD campus police officer that individuals are getting around me all over their campus and saying, gang stalk, oh my God. Well, look at this date. Also, look at the published date of this YouTube video. Okay? Well, look at this date. 10-23-2015, inside the San Diego courthouse. Listen, do you hear gang stalk, oh my God, being said? Press and play now. Watch the green light come on. Okay, so fellow American citizen, that was me walking in the a door of a specific room. I then turned it off. Okay, so um, 
I actually, I think what I was doing was checking the tape recorder to make sure everything was copacetic concerning how it should be at that time. So, let me see what's on the previous audio file here real fast. Hold on a second. Okay, so anyways, in closing, go to Google right now and type in new CSD and law library. Are they networking gang stalking? In fact, let me see if I can bring that up because I was just researching some blogs on the internet. And let's see, let's see if I can find it here. Hold on, my everybody. Give me one second. Now, another thing that I also just did was I exposed... Um, I just got done making a previous video concerning the same exact method being caught on the 21st inside of the library right next to Carl's Jr. Okay, uh, let's see if I can find the audio file. I'm not going to play it, but I'll just show it to you again. Look at the videos that are uploaded on the same date this one is, even the ones that aren't titled. Okay, uh, I think it's this one right here, video of file number 58. I go inside of that library that's on uh, Governor Drive off of Genesee Avenue, okay, in San Diego County, which is right next door to a bank. It's between a bank and a Carl's Jr. Gang stalk, oh my God, weird, crazy, and I think even suck my dick was caught. I just got to making a 30-minute video concerning it. Now, that occurred on the 21st, and this is the audio file concerning that. So, make sure you look at all the uh, videos that were uploaded on the same date as this one is, because you're going to automatically see th this this picture, okay, this this part of the video, showing that when you, when you research that YouTube video, when you start any YouTube videos that were also uploaded on the same date this one is, by going into the YouTube account that this video is going to be put in, <coughs> look for the one that shows this audio file. That's me being in the library. Now, this library that I'm in is at least 25 miles away from the courthouse in reference to what you just heard concerning the audio file that was just played to you at least three times. 25 miles apart in distance. So, fellow American citizens, my name is Leslie Williams. I live in San Diego, California. In closing, because i gotta, I got to try and make this audio, this, this video not too long, Let's see if I can bring up this Instagram account here real fast. I'm going to play you really fast. <coughs> now remember how I said that the same method was also caught in Rose Canyon on multiple occasions, but there's an Instagram link. I'm not going to play that specific one, but it's inside the... Um, let me go back to that blog. It's inside the, the Instagram link dedicated to the blog UCSD and Law Library. Are they networking gang stalking? Okay. Um, let me see if I bring that up real fast. Hold on. So you can see the title of the blog. See, what I'm doing is proving the stalking of the gang stalking. My phone is froze. Oh, here we go. What I'm doing is proving the stalking of the gang stalking. So you can see that I'm being... The only way that the same exact identical 2AT verbal harassment can be be propped up around me for me to experience by people I don't know is the only way that could occur is that if I'm being surveilled, observed, and tracked in real time. So this is the blog right here, okay? There's also another blog that goes by this name right here. Look at all the blogs that are dedicated to this account. I believe you can do that by going into the profile. Okay, so there's massive evidence in this blog. Okay, do it. And I'm talking about massive current evidence. So type that in at Google, bring the blog up, and you'll be able to see that what you just heard concerning being caught inside the San Diego courthouse on the 23rd of October is all over that blog being caught at multiple locations, it happening in the same exact identical way in reference to the harassment.
okay? So what I'm gonna do is actually play you right now an audio file of it being caught on Gilman Road right up the street from Rose Canyon. Remember, the blog has an Instagram account in it. It has, a, it has multiple Instagram links in it. One of the Instagram links that it has in it shows the same exact identical 2AT verbal harassment being caught in Rose Canyon. Observe, fellow American citizens. It's got to come up. There's an Instagram link I'm getting ready to play you right now. Do you hear these two men say gang stalk? One says gang stalking, that same one says gang is stalking, I'm gonna F you up. Oh man, hold on. I'm waiting for the Instagram link to come up. Alright, well, this is taking too long for this to come up, and I don't understand why. Okay, let me clear the memory for a minute, so that could be what's causing it to lag. One tap boost. Okay, I just released a bunch of RAM. So I'll go back to Instagram. Bring it up. Let's see if it comes up faster. That's what you're going to be listening for. So I'll hold the uh, camera up to the phone for a few minutes. For a minute and see how long it takes for it to come up, even if it don't. It doesn't matter because this audio file I'm talking about right now on this Instagram, that link is in the blog too. It's got to do with the Thanksgiving event. Okay, now there's no reason why it should be taking this long. So I'm gonna give it another minute. Just bear with me, please. Guess when this event took place? This event took place the day after, okay? The day after this YouTube video was made, the one I showed you. It occurred on 11 28, 2013, right across the street from where this video was made, off of Gilman Court and Gilman Drive in the woods. That's where this video was actually made, okay, before it was uploaded. The very next day, right across the street from that wooded area, right up the sidewalk, is where uh, the audio evidence that you just heard happened at, in reference to the incident. And one of the men that played a role in it was directly connected to a group of men that they had propped up to camp out right next to me at that wooded area. Absolutely, I've made a lot of videos about it. And those videos are in the UCSD those videos are in the UCSD and Law Library Are They Networking Gang Stalking. So think about this. I'm being charged right now for illegal lodging in Rose Canyon, being prosecuted in the San Diego Courthouse, and uh, the same exact evidence was caught in Rose Canyon that was caught all over UCSD campus, that was caught inside the courthouse, that was caught also in, in reference to it being connected to individuals that used to camp out at my last area. 
and the area that I was camping out before I moved to that area, over 35 miles away off of Friars and Frazzy Road, I was making videos and publishing them in 2012 that individuals were getting by that camping area, walking by and saying gang stalking. Do the math. Do the math. So do you really honestly believe that if any public defender's voice can be recognized, okay, from the audio file that I just got done playing, audio file 77, it's a public defender that's defending me. Do you hear gang stalk, oh my god, being said? Do you also notice how laughing is occurring after it's being said? I made videos concerning how they were saying gang stalk and oh my god on UCSD campus and then laughing about it back in 2013, 14, in 2013 and 14. So listen how you hear gang stalk or gang stalking and oh my god being said back to back and then how they're even laughing. Do Are these public defenders saying these things? Diego. Now, the same exact harassment's been caught at the law library. It's been caught at UCSD. That's why the blog is titled UCSD and Law Library. Are they networking gang stalking? Okay. The same exact identical 2AT verbal harassment. The only way that that could be happening if the same person, persons, or group is managing the entire harassment because the verbal harassment is identical to a T. So go and Google and type this in along with all the other things I told you to do in this video. Type in it, this in as well. It's the same title except it's got a dash two attached to it. Okay. Also type this YouTube title in. My name is Leslie Williams. I make this video to inform to expose the truth. Look at type that YouTube video title in. 10, 13, 15 updates. Gang stalking SDPD court corruption. And the rest of the YouTube video I think says San Diego Public Defenders. This was published before the date of the audio file that you just heard. The 23rd. What was I experiencing already in the courthouse? It's their way to mentally let me know that they're associated to the crime that's happening to me in order to send me a mental message that I'm going to be screwed over in court. Because remember, the ticket was given to me in Rose Canyon, okay? And the same exact identical verbal harassment was caught in Rose Canyon. So go to that blog. Because the link concerning the evidence concerning uh, Rose Canyon, the Instagram link is in that blog. Literally showing the audio file of gang stalk being said in Rose Canyon. My name is Elsie Williams. I'm in San Diego, California. Today's date is October 25th, 2015. If I am arrested again for illegal lodging or ticketed for this illegal lodging or arrested or ticketed for any other reason, it will be directly connected to organized stalking in order to put me in jail because I requested a trial concerning the 8-9-2015 ticket I got for legal lodging in Rose Canyon. They're using the courts and the police to fuck me over because they know I got this evidence. Now, in closing, would you trust any San Diego public defender? The same exact identical audio verbal harassment was caught on the 18th, I'm sorry, on the 24th of September 2015 in court the day of my arraignment pertaining to those tickets. I hadn't met yet with Alex McDonald.
okay. I had met with, I had not met her yet. So how would they know to say gang stalk around me on that day? When she hadn't even been briefed yet. I didn't meet her until I think around October 8th. So she didn't even know I was being, she had no reason to know that I was being gang stalked yet for public defenders to be saying it inside the courtroom during the arraignment. It's their way to mentally let me know you're going to be screwed in court. I'm in San Diego, California, and my name is Leslie Williams. Please say a prayer for my protection. Thank you.